Making art is often a solitary venture. You can imagine the lone artist holed up in their studio or their attic or their kitchen table. Well, in honor of Valentine's Day and in the spirit of partnership, one local gallerist has given a few art couples the opportunity to collaborate on a diptych for a show at Maker's Gallery and Studio. Check it out. We're Alex and Annie Grotadaro. We're in our gallery, Maker's Gallery and Studio on Elton Street. The Valentine's Day show was a concept that we came up with over the summer. Um, it really came out of just us knowing uh, a few different artist couples, and then um, from there, you know, thinking about uh, what if what if we asked these couples to collaborate on on work together. In talking with a few different of the artists that that are in this show, I realized they hadn't ever worked together. You know, and some of the couples have been together for many many years. You know, as as long as thirty or forty years. The concept behind the show was to force these couples to create something together that, you know, that's really ideally shown and, you know, viewed together as one piece. This was a very exciting kind of an assignment that we received from Alex for this show because it was the first time we've ever collaborated on a work and Bill did the drawing the ink drawing first, and then I did the colored pencil drawing on top of that. Our strength as a couple is that third entity that we bring when we do things together. It's, Jean's got a lot of strengths that I don't have, and I have strengths that she doesn't have. So when we come together, we make this unique thing. Our processes of working are so different. Bill is more process oriented and um, I'm more, I plan a little bit more. I, I work very realistically, so I think that may be another reason why we've never collaborated together before because we do work in, diff in different ways and our medias are different and our, you know, our focus has been different. My name is Rachel Cordaro. Cordell and I got married in August of 09, and we're both full-time artists now. Well, Cordell um, had, had the canvas first, so I basically let him do his thing, and um, he drew a woman. I just started painting her, and she kind of just took a life of her own, I, I suppose, and uh, it was almost like a story is being told, and uh, I was just kind of going with that, and then trying to figure out what she might be doing to incorporate the Rachel's flowers. And then once I drew her and painted her, then Rachel kind of took over her, her side and, and we decided to make it almost like a flower headdress over it. And then people could kind of create their own story with what they see. Cordell and I paint so much individually and we create like large quantities of work throughout the year because we do a lot of art shows. So this was an opportunity to like slow down and, and really like come together and decide on what we wanted to do. It was fun to work together on something as opposed to being in our separate studios. We kind of, you know, the collaboration. It was just fun to yeah, be able like, to work together. I would come in his studio and we'd kind of look at it and, and decide and then he'd come up and like peek it and you know, it was just really cool. I'd probably do more too, you know. It's, yeah, we want to do more collaborations, definitely. We do it full time together, so it's like our art is what we do for our lives, and we're always constantly working together because she has a studio, right. I have a studio, and we do shows together. So we are collaborating most all the time, right. almost in a business aspect or like a, as far as just our careers. And so this is actually putting that on actual canvas. Collaborating feels really natural because we're, we're like best friends and we collaborate in life. It's a completely different thing to collaborate on something as, that is as personal, typically, as a work of art. Um, it's a very kind of like solitary process a lot of the time. You have to kind of be proactive and go out of your way to get feedback. With this, they were they were kind of forced to because they were both putting their name on it. This particular show for makers um, is kind of on a micro level what we want to do. You know, this is bringing two people together, two artists together to work on something. 
we want to bring a lot of artists together to work on things together, whether that's even just you know through conversation. This space is is a, a space for, for artists and anyone to come and, and collaborate with things that they're working on or bounce ideas off of each other. Um, it's really that. That's the kind of environment we're, we're looking to create. For more information, visit makersgalleryandstudio.com.